All right, so apologies about the first video. I'm gonna continue because I'm not gonna go back and delete it. So we're gonna continue with where I would where I left off, which is the Lord really wants us to focus on the eternal, the eternal purposes, the eternal building of the kingdom of God. That is what the Lord wants from his sons and daughters is he wants us to to really hone in and focus on what's truly important, which is the building of the kingdom of God. So the fact that we are driven by desires, that that um, that is something that the Lord, we need to spend time in the presence of God, having him really search us and having him really... Um, excuse me, having us really, really search our hearts and really evaluate what's going on in our minds so that our desires line up with his will and his purposes for our lives. So I want to read a couple of verses that uh, I just want to expound on. Uh, it's in Psalms 37. It says this, it says, delight yourself also in the Lord. Actually, we'll start at verse three. Trust in the Lord. And do good, so shall you dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Verse 4, delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of your heart. Commit your way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So the Lord wants us to trust in him, trusting in him, relying on him for wisdom, for understanding, for uh, truth for um, the necessary power and grace to obey and to continue in our faith for him, trusting in him, that is what allows, that's what puts us in position to do good, to do good in the eyes of God. And he says that we will dwell in the land and we will be fed. So obeying God, trusting in God, staying in the will of God for my life, living by faith, living by the instructions of God, spending the adequate time with God is what uh, puts me in position to be blessed by God and blessed by God to the degree that, that it doesn't add any sorrow to what he gives. And verse four, delighting yourself in the Lord and he will give us the desires of our heart. So first, Acknowledging that God is our source of truth. God is our, our, our treasure. Wherever our treasure is, our heart will be also. So our heart is with God. Our heart is surrendered with God. And being in that condition with God, being in that place with God is when he'll give us the desires of our heart, which if our heart is pure, if our hearts are pure and in right standing with him, then he's going to give us the desires that are going to help us fulfill what his expectations are for our lives and it is and we bless we bless the lives of those around us not just our own lives but we are a blessing to all of those that God has given us access to when we delight ourselves in the Lord that means spending time with God being a cheerful giver of your time a cheerful giver of your worship a cheerful giver of your of his word and of his truth a, che a cheerful representative of the Lord Jesus Christ. Doing that shows that we are delighting ourselves in the Lord and he will give us what is needed to keep our hearts strong and to keep our hearts pure and to keep us holy and righteous in his eyes and the eyes of those that are meant to see him and to be with him. And he wants us to set our affections. He, he says this in uh, the Apostle Paul said this to the church of Colossae. He said to set your affections on the things above and not the things on this earth. He wants us to set our affections on him. Set our affections on the place that he's trying to bring to earth, which is heaven. So setting our affections above places the focus on the kingdom. Focus, places the focus on heaven, on the kingdom kingdom matters and that's what the lord is expecting for all of us to disassociate and 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 divorce ourselves from the love for the world because he said that if we love the world 
If we love the world or the things of the world, the love of the Father is not in us. So the desires of our heart are not going to be on Jesus if we still have a love and, a, and an affinity and an interest for the world. So by the grace of God, we need to confront that and we need to press into God so that he can show us how to live for him, how to love for him and how to labor for him. And that's what I have for you all. In Jesus name, God bless you.